Mike Lowengar with E-Trade Financial here with the market update through May. A global pandemic couldn't dampen investor optimism even as economic data showed historic job losses and a sharp drop-off in consumer and business activity last month. Unemployment in the U.S. skyrocketed to its highest level since the Great Depression, with millions of new claims still coming in each week. Nonetheless, stocks continued to rise as the virus showed signs of stabilizing in the U.S., lockdowns loosened across the globe, and some positive news emerged on the vaccine front. The S&P 500 punctured through the psychologically important 3,000 level for the first time since early March. Investors transitioned out of typically defensive sectors and also appeared to back away from tech and into small caps toward month end. International equities were positive, but lagged well behind their U.S. peers, with emerging markets trailing the pack. Although equities have rebounded remarkably from the February-March sell-off, the economic recovery has yet to fully crystallize. And with the consumer at the heart of the American economy, market watchers will continue to keep a close eye on whether jobs and spending bounce back as businesses start to reopen. Investors should move forward cautiously as we assess the economic and market landscape in the coming weeks. While we are making positive strides, if reopenings result in new virus outbreaks or vaccine progress stumbles, the positive market momentum could grind to a halt and turn back south. Stay the course, keep investing decisions focused on individual timelines, long-term goals, and risk tolerance. Thanks for watching, and we'll talk to you again next month.